guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming and of course the heat just kicked on when I started filming. Hopefully the sound isn't too bad. Anyway, I just wanted to say I hope you guys all had a very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays. Um, I hope that you were able to find some joy in the holidays this year because um, it was it was hard. I had a few breakdowns. It was not easy, and um, I I definitely struggled. But I know how fortunate I am, and I was able to spend Christmas with my husband and our cats, and we made the most of it. And that's all we can do, right? And we know that the future will be better. So I hope you guys were able to safely enjoy Christmas in whatever way that is for you. But I wanted to share today my planner related Christmas haul. And I want to first preface this by saying that I recognize that many people were not able to um, have Christmas this year. They weren't able to afford it because, you know, whether it's from layoffs due to COVID or whatever it is. Um, so I feel a little weird making this video, but I just want to say that I am so, so, so grateful for just everything in my life right now, for my job, for my family, um, just, just everything. So I just wanted to preface that. And I don't want to seem like um, I'm being insensitive, if that makes sense. But I'm just going to go ahead and jump in here. I'm going to kind of explain what all of this is, where it came from, and all that. So let's just, let's just jump into it. So these were a gift to myself. <laughs> and I purchased these at Dollar Tree. And I thought that they would be really good for storing loose sticker kits. Um, and, you know, just various, like, smaller loose sticker sheets, like little freebies that come with orders. I just found that I started to collect them. Like, I have my order from Free Sticker Co. and Mixy Cat stuff. And, like, the sheets are little. And I don't want to, like, have to pull out my big giant binder that I have to store, you know, excess, like, larger stickers. Um, like, larger sticker sheets from, like, a, you know, Happy Planner sticker book. Um, and I just had these tiny little sheets and I wanted a place. I wanted to be able to, you know, easily access them. And I found these at Dollar Tree. They have 48 pockets. I haven't opened them yet, obviously. Let's open one real quick. Yeah, and it's just, it's a photo album, you know. And I thought that this would be just perfect for those tiny little sticker sheets. And I could put tabs in it to like label, you know, what shop it's from, which I'll get to the tabs in a minute, because oh my God. But yeah, so I think these are gonna work out really well. And I will definitely let you guys know. So I just got a blue and an orange. Okay, I know y'all see the Simply Gilda sitting here. This was another gift to myself that I actually bought on Black Friday. And um, the order got lost. You know how, God bless the postal office workers. I cannot imagine, um, I literally can't imagine. But um, it did get lost <laughs> and I was concerned and it actually, um, it arrived a couple days before Christmas and I stuck it right in my stocking because I, at that point, I couldn't even remember what I ordered. I did remember that I got oh, these bats, look at them, oh my god, but I completely forgot what I ordered. I do not remember ordering this. I really don't. I don't think that I did. Um, so I guess this was a freebie, but look, we have a journaling card. Oh, and that's something else I could use these albums for. You know what? For journaling cards that I'm not currently using. Oh, guys. Are you kidding? This is perfect. Um, yep, just kind of had that epiphany right now. And then look, perfect example. These were a freebie. And these were a freebie. And this is a little seal. So I do have... Um, I do have like a page of seals in my reusable sticker book. So I might, I'm not sure, but for right now, we're gonna test this out. Let's slide this right in here. So for now, we'll just keep that with the journaling card. I didn't even think about journaling cards. I might have to go back and get a couple more of these. I mean, for a dollar, you really can't beat it. Look how perfect that is. So I can keep my seals in here. 
and it's double sided. And then this cute little freebie. Look at that. How beautiful. Yes, I'm in love with that system already. If you hear my chair squeaking, I apologize. Okay. <laughs> So I'm not going to sit here and open all these up right now, um, but y'all, are you kidding with this? Look at the, look at this. Look at that. I look at and it. Yeah. The look at that. Yeah. I cannot wait to use this in January for like wintry spreads and like, oh my God, that is so beautiful. And then the smaller one. Yeah. And again, I swear I did not order this. I, maybe it was something with, with the Black Friday order that it came free. I don't know. And the star of the show in my eyes. Oh my god. The candy coated metallic bats. Look at Look at It's freaking bats. Mmm. I cannot wait to tear into this. Okay. So that's my bougie washi that I got. And again, that was a Black Friday purchase. Um, That was a gift to myself. So, ain't nothing wrong with giving yourself a gift. Okay? If you hear a cat meowing, that is my cat out in the hall playing with her new Christmas toys. I got this beautiful washi from my mom. This is so unique. And immediately when I saw it, I just thought, I don't know why, but to me, it just looks like it would be so fun in my journal. Um, just something about, like, these colors and the way it's, like, watercolor. And there's, like music notes on it and like a map if you can see that it's just so pretty I love the colors I love the way um the eyes are drawn oh my god it's so pretty so this came in a set so I'm going to keep this with my b6 catch-all I believe that I use for journaling because I don't know something about this just I feel like it's going to look so pretty in my journal. And this will as well. So this is journaling tape. And I actually, once I, I got home and I looked at it, I realized that I already have this. But I was getting low on it, so now I have more. <laughs> my mom got me this as well. And this is so fun to use in your journal because it's really cool because you can color it. Um, just the like the material that it is, you can actually color right on the tape which is pretty cool and it just works so well in a journal it's just like these little pens like it's just it's awesome and then this is uh just you know plain white and you can color it you could paint on it um and i definitely i definitely want to try that out uh, on some of my spreads maybe like painting this or just i don't know doing something creative and at the very least you can use this white to cover up maybe something um on a page that you don't want that you want to like put a clear sticker on top of but then you can see something underneath it you know so you could just put this white right on there um so this I am very excited about so that's it for the washi okay these my mom got me as well and there's actually one more but it is in my purse and I am already using it I used it to um, make our grocery list and it worked really well we actually stuck to the list and got everything we needed uh, which is Super rare for my hubby and I, but I really like this. And the size, I haven't measured it yet. I should have brought my ruler over here, but this size to me looks very familiar, like a a common um, traveler's notebook size, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. And I will have to, um, have to measure it and look it up because I'd be very interested in like getting like a little cover for this because I was walking around the grocery store. I mean, I, I've, I don't know. I've thought about doing like where you create like a wallet traveler's notebook. I've kind of thought about that. And then when I got these, I was like, ooh, that would be perfect. Um, this is actually like a planner. It has, you know, it's undated and has Monday through Sunday. I thought this would be really fun for actual traveling. So I might look into turning this into a wallet. So stay tuned. I need to measure this, figure out what the size is, and then maybe find a cover and figure out how I can turn it into a wallet. And this one's dot grid, but y'all know I'm a dot grid bitch, so I'm excited. Okay. Technically, this wasn't a Christmas gift because I bought it after Christmas for myself. Actually, I lied. I bought it on Christmas Eve. Y'all, I saw this at... Where was I? 
Home Goods. I saw it at Home Goods and it was what? $2.99. Oh, I could have saw the sticker. It was $2.99. And it caught my eye. It first caught my eye because it looked like it's about five by seven. Like it looks like it's about the uh, B6 size, but I could be wrong. It doesn't really matter. And do I know what I'm going to use this for? No, I don't. But look at it. Look at this, look at that, look at this, look at that, look at that. It's stitch and sketch. You stitch your own cover. So it includes embroidery floss, a plastic needle, and patterns. And so you use these holes to make your own cover. And I just thought that was so cute. Like, how cute is that? I, I had to get it. I just had to buy it. Hey, you can always use another notebook. Okay. I know I showed these briefly earlier. <sighs> I'm obsessed. So, I kind of bought this for myself, but <laughs> but then my husband also kind of bought it for me. We were together, and I saw it, and he was like, yeah. Anyway, so these are, I've talked about these many times on my channel. The Avery Ultra Tabs, they are repositionable, which is so hard for me to say for some reason. Um, I use these tabs in my B6TN, in my catch-all for... Um, labeling the, you know, the months because I create my own planner, basically. Um, I, I just absolutely love these. You can, you know, pick them up and move them around as many times as you want. You can write on them. Um, they are two-sided. Like, so you can write on both sides and it looks the same on each side. Um, and you can also just use, like, stickers, which is what I generally do. I use stickers, like, um, monthly labels or whatever, or little, like, letters because my handwriting is not like my favorite, but um, yeah, I might print a, a vinyl, some vinyl stickers maybe to put on here. I'll get to that in a minute as well, but I'm very excited to use these and I think I might redo the tabs in my catch-all that I just did, but I feel like I need these in my catch-all. I mean, look at these. Got these at Walmart, by the way. All right, just a few more things here, so. We have some pens. So I already tore into these, sorry. Okay, Sharpie S Gel, which if you've watched my channel before, you will know that this is one of my all time favorite pens. Sharpie S Gel came out with a white pen and it no, it is not white ink. I got really excited at first, <laughs> um, thinking that it was white ink for the, um, you know, to use on dark paper. However, it is black ink. But that is fine. I just thought they were so pretty. They just look so pretty. And I love a Sharpie S gel. And did I need them? No. But I wanted them. And here they are. And so I also got another pack of... I actually bought these before I knew these existed. So now I just have some more S gels. Which I will use them. Trust me. I keep them in all my different bags. I keep some on my desk. Uh, I'll definitely use them, um, but I bought these before I saw the white ones. Okay, now these. Jelly Roll. I love Jelly Roll pens. I discovered these this year, actually, when I got the um, white ones to use in my MCR B6TN because all the inserts have black paper, and I needed white gel pens to write on the black paper, obviously. So... These are metallic. Now, obviously, I haven't opened these. I haven't tried them out yet. Um, I can do a video on testing out all these different pens. If you guys would like, let me know in the comments. Um, I definitely am excited to try these out on dark paper as well as on white paper. And these are the Stardust kind. It says um, glittering colors. I don't know if I have any like this, so I'm definitely interested to try this out. Um, but I love the white ones, and I have a couple red ones. I think I might have a red metallic one that is like this one. I'm not entirely sure. I have to pull them all out. But I'm definitely excited to try these out. I love jelly rolls, and I love saying that. Jelly roll. Okay. I took these out of the package as well. My mom watched my video for... <laughs> The video I made for Plamis that was my planner wish list and I put mild liners on it and I said that, you know, I obviously had some mild liners and I wanted more colors and she came through. Um, I gave her a few of the ones that I already had. I am just so excited. I'm Now that I'm looking, I think I might have this color. 
I'll have to pull out my other ones and see. Um, it was hard for me to remember what I had. I know I don't have this color. I'm really excited about that one. Um, I think the purple I have is identical to this, but it may not be. I'll definitely have to check. I really like this, like, almost like a lighter magenta color. This color is very unique. I really like it. I don't know what to call it. Like, uh, light peach? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm very excited to play around with these and also this more, like, traditional, like, highlighter yellow color. Yeah, so I got more model liners. Thank you, Mom. I'm very excited to use these. All right, last thing here. So my mom tells me to open this. And it was a pack that had all these accessories in it. And before I open it, she said, no, I don't want you to be disappointed. Let me explain. And she said, um, this is for something that you don't have yet, but you may have in the future. And I just thought that you might be able to use some of these now and blah, blah, blah. I was like, what is she talking about? And I opened it and it was these Cricut accessories. And I, the first thing I said was, oh, tweezers. I want to use these for... For stickers for putting my planner because I do and scissors are always good and you know whatever and I I really didn't think I really did not think anything of it I was like maybe she's thinking I'll use some Christmas money or you know my birthday's in March like maybe she's thinking that I I'm gonna go and buy myself a cricket or whatever I was not expecting even when I opened this I was not expecting one okay turns out she actually did get me a Cricut and I am still kind of in shock over it. I haven't really processed the fact that I have it yet and I haven't opened it yet um, because I wanted to open it with you guys. I wanted to film me opening it and using it for the first time because I, I'm not gonna lie, I, um, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed already. I don't know where to start. Um, I'm excited but I'm just I'm just kind of overwhelmed. I don't know where to even begin. So I thought I'd share that process with you guys. So I will definitely be filming an unboxing of my first Cricut. I can't believe I have it. And it's purple, y'all. It's purple. So I'm looking at it on the table over there. I can't wait to tear into it. But, but make sure you are subscribed and that you have notifications turned on so that you see when I upload that video of me unboxing my Cricut. I'm, uh... <sighs> I'm so excited, but I'm so overwhelmed. I don't, I have no clue what I'm doing, but you guys are going to join me for the ride. So anyway, that is it for my planner related Christmas gifts. Um, I just, again, wanted to say that I am so grateful for everyone who bought me something. Um, I really wasn't expecting much this year for Christmas. Um, I never really do, but every year I'm just blown away that you know, I get things that I wanted uh, without even asking for. So I am uh, I'm very grateful and I'm so excited to start playing with this stuff. Um, I definitely, I took, I took quite a few days off um, from, from filming, from planning at all. I just felt like I needed a break. Um, I felt like, um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I planned this, uh, I underestimated how much it was going to take out of me and not the not even the editing and, and uploading and, and all that just like the like mentally um it took a lot out of me and I got to the end and I uh I couldn't finish it out I wanted to do 25 days and I actually had filmed a couple more videos that I never edited and uploaded I was going through a serious funk and I just I had to take care of myself and I didn't um I didn't want to force it so those videos will be uploaded at another time in the near future I just needed to take a little bit of a break and I'm going to try really hard not to pressure myself to uh I don't want to make this uh you know YouTube thing something that is stressful for me because this is supposed to be fun <laughs> and it is fun um and it's important to take breaks to avoid burnout so that's what I did but anyway um, thank you guys so much for watching. What did you get for Christmas? Did you, even if it's something you bought for yourself, is there anything that you got that you're like super excited about? You know, let me know in the comments. And, um, 
Again, be sure you are subscribed. Turn on the notifications to make sure that you are notified whenever I upload. Like I said, I will have a video of me unboxing my brand new Cricut. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> so definitely uh, stay tuned for that because it's going to be a wild ride. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. And um, I am still in the process of setting up my planner for 2021. I know we're almost at 2021 and I need to get it together, but I'm going to be working on that. <laughs> I'm also working on my video game themed B6TN. I'm still working on the MCR B6TN. I got a lot of stuff going on. So um, be sure to stay tuned and you know, lots of plan with me is coming up. Very, very excited to, to get back into it, but I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you again for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up on the way out and I will see you next time.